So you've written an offer and talked about a negotiation strategy, and I bet you're wondering what happens next. Hi, I'm Matt Tate with the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and I'm here to talk to you about the closing strategy after you've written that offer. So the best case scenario would be we get to what's called mutual acceptance. And mutual acceptance is where the seller accepts your offer, your terms and your price, and we can move forward towards closing. Generally, that time frame is sometime between 30, 45, or 60 days out. And we have a 115 point checklist to get you from mutual acceptance all the way to closing and moving into your new home. Number one, the very first thing after mutual acceptance is you have to submit what's called earnest money. And earnest money is your way of the, as the buyer of putting some skin in the game and showing the seller you're serious about moving forward with this offer. In most case scenarios, earnest money is 1% of the purchase price. This shows the, the seller that you're ready to move forward into your home inspection period. Your home inspection period is generally 10 days. As your broker, I'm going to supply you with a list of licensed home inspectors in the state of Washington, and you get to choose which one that you want to ask to do your home inspection. The home inspector's job is to go through the house with a fine tooth comb and uncover any possible things that might go wrong during the life of home ownership. That could be anything from chipping paint to insulation in the attic to the, the lifespan of the HVAC system and anything in between. When the home inspector is done, they'll compile a very comprehensive report and send it to us. Then we get to look at that report, go through every line item and identify which items we might want to ask the seller to address. If there's chipping paint, you may ask the seller to paint the, the wall. If the HVA system is going out, then you might ask the seller to replace that. Whatever you choose, we send over an inspection response and give the seller time to respond to our, our needs and our wants. After it's agreed upon, we can move forward in the process and that's where you're gonna move forward with your lender and submitting all of your documents in a timely fashion. Once the lender receives all your documents, you'll be able to move forward with financing. They're gonna order an appraisal and when they order the appraisal, the appraiser is going to go out there and look at the home you're purchasing and also comparable homes that have recently sold in the marketplace and they're going to make sure that whatever the bank is lending against is of the right value. Most often the appraisal comes back with no issues. However, the appraiser, depending on your financing program, might call out certain things that need to be addressed by the seller and then we would ask for the seller to address those things to move forward towards closing. If we get through that and when we get through that, the closing officer and your lender will send out what's called a settlement statement. This outlines all of the costs that are going to be associated with your home purchase, from how much money you have to bring to closing, what your taxes are going to look like, what your monthly payment's going to look like, and what your payoff amount's going to look like in your amortization schedule, should you choose to pay the loan off early. When you receive that settlement statement and the closing documents, and you approve that, then you're going to set what's called a signing date. That's where you, as the home buyer, will come into the escrow office and the title office and you'll sit down and you'll sign all the documents that go into the purchase of a home. It's a pretty lengthy process. I would expect an hour or so. However, once that's done, then you're on the path to closing. Your home is not officially closed until it records with the county. And once we receive notice that your home is closed with the county, guess what? You're now a homeowner. How exciting. And you can move into your new home. A couple things that I want to talk about that make our office a little bit different than maybe some other brokerage firms is number one, we have buyer specialists that are working specifically with you as the buyer from mutual acceptance all the way to closing. And guess what? The buyer specialist isn't working alone. We have a whole team in our office and one person specifically designated as our closing coordinator. What she does is she takes your file from the very first day that you have mutual acceptance and she walks it through every point in the process and she communicates often with us as buyer specialists and with you as the buyer to make sure we're meeting these very important deadlines and dates. So a couple things that make us different is the fact that we have buyer specialists that work on this side of the transaction and we also have a support system in our office, the closing coordinator, which is very key in making sure that your closing goes as smooth as possible. I want to congratulate you on being a new homeowner. Once again, I'm Matt Tate with the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. Thank you.